Hi, welcome to Rajal Nai. In today's video, we are going to discuss about uh, traceability matrix. As we all know, whenever we are working on uh, applications, especially as far as the role of a business analyst as well as the testing professionals, as far as the requirements itself is concerned, those requirements has to be traced out because as a part of BA, we see whenever we discussed about uh, requirement lifecycle management. So there is an option which you can see called tracing of requirements, means how to trace the requirements, etc. To trace the requirements initially, whenever we have taken requirements in the beginning time, Testing team will also be involved, wherein testing team will also collect the requirements. So whenever they are collecting the requirements, their perception completely towards testing part means they have to prepare two different testings. One is manual and second is automation testing. In manual testing, of course, in the last video, I have made some uh, video in uh, earlier couple of days back, I have posted in my channel relating to the test cases, right? So how to write test cases in Jira. This is all something comes under the manual part. Apart from manual testing, even automation testing will also be done. So using multiple uh, uh, tools like uh, in real world, like Selenium or that. In this aspect, there is a traceability which has to be done. Means creating a traceability matrix where we have to convert connect between two different things. One is use case and second is test case. Use case represents the development perspective. Test case represents the testing perspective. So both must be the same. The results must be the same. At the same time, if it is same and we have identified, we consider that those testing, those requirements are tested. Those requirements were created and tested substantially. That's what usually the perception we, we will have. But to do that, generally there is a matrix which normally we call it as traceability matrix. In, in, in full form, I can call it as RTM. Uh, people who are working on uh, business analysis or people who wants to uh, work as a business analyst who is learning BA or whoever has a knowledge over business analyst. At the same time, people who are from the testing background will have a knowledge. Right? So RTM, we call it a requirement traceability matrix. How requirements has to be traced out. So for that, of course, we can show it and we can prepare in a manual process where we can do it on uh, Excel, all that, right? So I think in the last couple of uh, weeks, a couple of months even, I think I have uh, posted a video about RTM using Excel sheet in my channel, of course. I'll be sharing that uh, video link description in below to this video so that you can have a glance over it. And whatever I'm explaining you in reference to the matrix traceability matrix is on Jira. Because whenever we are working on application development, we need to do the testing part even. So prominent tool, one of the prominent tool is called Jira, which normally we use. So this is what generally the in Jira, we have an option called Jira Jiffer scale, which will be used for the testing part. Here we can uh, create this trace and traceability matrix, all that. So what is that we have to do? We need to create the project first. Whatever the projects we have and all everything has to be created. Whatever the projects do we have, right? So all these projects has to be created over here. First, we have to select which project we are belongs to. Next filtering process will be done and whatever the required uh, and possible settings to be made and all everything is what we have to do. So hence what I'm doing, I'm selecting a project where of course I have selected, I created a project called e-commerce website. So I was just mentioning you in e-commerce because there are a couple of projects in my repository. I'm selecting e-commerce website as a project over here, you can see. Now, if I want to make any filtering and all everything that I can filter it, right? so filter by so and so, like filter by test cycles. Right? So all these things I can mention, right? So what are the test plans do we have? 
at the same time if there are any versions issues queries and all everything that way that way i can do the test in the do the filtering process so once the filtering process is done here you can see there is a settings where test uh, traceability direction coverage relating to the test cases part because this is where i, I told you some time back use cases is what generally we do for the development perspective what will be the main scenario uh, after that, uh, what is the success scenario? What is the primary condition, post condition? All these will be mentioned under the use case templates. Use case is relating to that, right? So functionality, main success scenario, precondition, post condition. Uh, at the same time, what are the add-ons, assumptions, all that, exceptions? All these has to be will be mentioned under the uh, under the use cases. But whereas when it comes to the test cases and all, whatever the test case scenario it belongs to, for the test case scenario, what are the testing functionalities we have taken? For the testing scenario, testing functionalities, what must be the expected result and actual result? Two things. Expected result means what customer is expecting. That's what we mention. Because initially, whenever we have gathered, usually we will be knowing about what customer is expecting for the particular functionality. So we will mention about uh, expected results. And second was actual result. Whenever it was developed, that particular functionality developed by the team, actual result will come into picture. Means what must be the actual result and all of it, we will be knowing there. So expected result versus actual result is what the comparison we have to make. So if both are same, consider uh, then uh, the test condition is considered as pass. If both are not same, generally that is considered as failed, right? So that is what the report we write. And uh, whatever the failed report, the defects will be identified and it will be written. And again, this will be reversed back to the technical team, so the development team, so that subsequently they will work on it. That's how usually the procedure works. So for that reason, in reference to the test cases and all, this is where we are taking coverages of test cases. And you can simply click on generate. So you can see over here, this is how generally the traceability matrix has been covered, right? So the created. So these test, uh, traceability matrix, what are the test cases we have created earlier? So those test cases you can see over here, right? Because these are the test cases we have created in the earlier. If you see, if you see the, you see, if you see my previous video there are some test cases all these test cases i have created for navigation etc etc whatever the test cases i have taken those test cases you can see the extraction of test cases over here so all these so this is how generally a traceability matrix we have to create so please do remember again i'm repeating you the same if you want to create any traceability matrix make sure for the traceability matrix, it is always important for us to create test cases first. Unless until if we are not creating test cases, traceability matrix preparation won't be uh, won't be possible because we are taking up the coverage part relating to the test cases only. That's what we have selected. If you have not updated the test cases, then uh, you cannot uh, uh, work on this, right? So this is what we have to. Uh, consider right so when we are working on it so so this is how generally the traceability matrix is what will be created uh, in jira so that whatever the necessary test care uh, testing related traceabilities and all everything subsequently will be done by them when and wherever it is needed so this is all about the video so if you have any queries if you have any questions please reach out to the contact details which will be posted in below to this video Thank you.